I said, yo, what's up everybody? I'm Amber, this is Amber's Logic. Got a new video for you today. We got episode 69 of Milwaukee Bucks Trades, rumors and news. Before we get into it, y'all know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying content with the people. Y'all know we're here to talk about what happened tonight between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Detroit Pistons on the road with the return of Giannis Antetokounmpo with the return of Chris Middleton. Let's chop it up. We're going to talk about all the positives first, like we do, and then we'll talk about the things we need to improve on on the back end. First things first, the Bucks came out absolutely on fire tonight. Absolutely on fire. Uh, this was a very imp uh, impressive first uh, quarter by the Bucks. Giannis went absolutely crazy. Giannis uh, came out the gates with and got the dub piece on them in the first quarter, and they just set precedent. That just set the tone for this whole game. Pretty much was the first quarter. Bucks scored forty nine. They had twenty four in the first quarter, and we kind of just rolled that lead on the way out. Uh, it was good to see. Uh, Lopez had a strong game offensively. Listen to what I'm saying. Offensively, Lopez had a strong game. Uh, Holiday played efficient basketball. I don't mind this. 7 of 12, 1 of 5 from uh, 3, 1 of 1 from the free throw line. Uh, 7 assists, 2 steals, 0 turnovers. 0. That's what we want. If we can get this out of, out of uh, Holiday every game... This is actually the ideal scenario. Keep the points down a little bit. Distribute the basketball. Don't turn the ball over. Giannis, on a, I know this was his first game back in a while. He came out the gate with four turnovers. And then 11-17 from the free throw line. He got to pick that up because in the playoffs, that's going to be a problem. You can't be shooting roughly 50% from the free throw line. We, we, he got to get it in the 70s. I don't know what he needs to do, but he needs to get in the 70s. But he had 29 uh, for the whole game and uh, 12 rebounds, 4 assists. So solid bounce back game. Lopez, uh, Iron Man for our team right now. One of the few people that's been playing uh, pretty much every game. Brooke Lopez, 8-12, uh, 2-6, 3-4, uh, 21 points, 4 rebounds, 2 blocks. Solid effort. Uh, Connaughton chipped in with 6. Grayson Allen chipped in with 9. And Bobby Port. Bobby Porter's only played 23 minutes, and he, he got uh, banged up a little bit. But uh, uh, from what I saw, it looked like left knee soreness is why he left. So hopefully that's nothing too crazy that needs a couple games off. But a uh, shout-out to Bobby for another double-double and a strong performance uh, offensively. Yo, I've, I've been giving Javon Carter smoke for at least two months. Shout-out to Javon Carter for his performance tonight. Six of eight from three. 18 points. He did have two turnovers, but that's the that's what we do is turn the ball over, unfortunately. But a, a great, great game by uh, Javon Carter. Uh, Ingles had a slow night. He only had six points. Bochamp only played eight minutes and had seven points. Why, why did he only play eight minutes? That doesn't even make sense. Even in his eight minutes, he almost outproduced Grayson Allen. We got to figure out what's going on with Bochamp in his rotation. This kid needs minutes. You only learn to play if you play. He has to be able to learn from whatever mistakes he's making. He has to be able to learn from those, bud. Damn, man. Let this man get some run. That is our future, period. We need to let Bochamp get some run. And then... uh. We just played great offensively. I mean, we shot 56% from the field. That's crazy for a whole game. 56%? Crazy. 44% from three, hitting over 23s. 70% uh, from the line. These are outstanding numbers. If we could get close to these numbers every night, we'd be untouchable. I mean, you're doing, you shoot 50% from the field. You, you hit over 23s. You, you shot okay from the free throw line, 70%. And then uh, we out-rebounded them 52-41, which was good. But then we got to talk about the turnovers. We had 18 turnovers. They had 20. 
I mean, that's ridiculous. I think they got like 26 points off of turnovers. We are extremely careless with the ball. And you, we're just extremely careless. And that's bringing me to talk about Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton played 15 minutes, had eight points and six turnovers. I told y'all when he come back, he just going to be turning the ball over. I love Chris Middleton. Good guy, good player, good in the community. But this dude is terrible with the basketball. Any type of distributing the basketball or if he had to dribble too much, I wish he could play like Clay Thompson and just be a catch-and-shoot player because anything else is you rolling the dice with Middleton. Six turnovers in 15 minutes is crazy. That's crazy. I... I I can't make an excuse for it. I don't care if you just came. Six turnovers in that short of time, it's crazy. Let's chop it up in the comments section about that. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And then Detroit, you know Bogdanovich going to do work. He had 33. We allowed him to hit six threes. Uh, Bay had 21. And let's... We got to start talking about when Lopez played, like, solid centers and all that. Like... It just be looking different. I mean, during 23 points, 15 rebounds, this is a dude that averages less than 10 points a game. Why are you putting up a double-double like that against Lopez, who we think should be a defensive player of the year running? Why is this happening? Why did the Detroit Pistons score 130 points? Yes, we scored 150, but why are the Detroit Pistons scoring 150? 30. It shouldn't happen. That's crazy. They shot 50% from the field, 40% from three, 70% from the line. Turnovers and just poor defense is what didn't make this game really get ugly. Where We should have blew them out by like 40 to keep it real. But this is a good bounce back uh, win for the Bucks after the loss. But we still have the issues with the turnovers. We still have the issues with the young centers. We still have issues just running some type. Oh, we. This team, the way it's currently playing, if they were to play somewhere like this to the rest of the year, this is not a championship caliber team. Championship caliber teams are not allowing teams like Detroit to drop 130. Yes, we dropped 150. Yes, the others are playing most of the game. But even with that all considered, they should not be dropping 130 on us. They just shouldn't. And I'm still fascinated how Middleton was able to turn the ball over that consistently in that short amount of time. That's wild. Again, we won by 20. Good win. Uh... But just things that just to point out, like, if, if, for example, Detroit scoring 24 points in the first quarter, 31 in the second, 37 in the third, 38 in the fourth. Why are they getting better over time? Why are we not breaking their spirit? Why are they scoring that many points? Do y'all get what I'm saying? You can say the others were in there. Why aren't they playing good defense? We need to make a move to be in the championship contention again. This is a team maybe can get to the Easter Conference Finals. But with our coaching staff and this current roster, I don't know if this is enough anymore. I just don't know. I just don't know. I mean, we just let so many randoms just go ham on us. We just give the ball away like it's free candy on Halloween. It's just a lot going on that we need to pick through through this win. Great shooting night by the Bucks all around. Awesome. But you got to be able to stop people, and especially bottom feeder teams. Why are they scoring 130? Why are they shooting 50%? I'm telling you, whatever our defensive scheme is, has been figured out by the league because people are just cracking us in the head, scoring 110 plus. We need to make an adjustment defensively. We just have to, and we have to cut down the turnovers. I'm willing to give y'all 10 turnovers a game, 12 max. That's it, and that's really too much. You have to take care of the basketball. If you don't, it will lead to L's. Ask Dak Prescott what happens when you turn the ball over. You lose, usually. We just happen to have 
some ultra, a couple ultra talented players to bail us out. And we better hope Bobby ain't out for no extended amount of time because that's really going to throw things off because Bobby's been our second best player for the most part. Third recently since Holiday been hooping. And I don't know what to expect out of Chris Middleton. This is a good win, like I said. Bounce back win on the road. It's awesome. But we need to tighten some things up. And I'm really looking for other Bucks to make a move, especially after the Lakers when it got Hachimura from Washington, which I think is a great pickup. The Bucks need to go get somebody that can get buckets consistently. Cause like Javon Carter had 18 tonight. When is he going to have 18 again? We'll see. Pat Connick can have 15 the other day. He got six today. Allen would not. This is the type of inconsistency we can't have. I'm not saying you need to drop a dub every night, but at least 12 to 15 consistently, you should be able to do that. It's just though these are the type of player we need to really evaluate. Are do we can we get something better, more stable, more consistent? People like Connaughton. Al, I know people don't want I'm just saying, as far as consistency, somebody that can get buckets, we need to consider all people. Besides, like, Bobby, Giannis, and Holiday, for the most part. Everybody else should be an option to improve this team. We have we got a, a, a two-time MVP under 30. If y'all don't get some players around this man so we can win another chip and quit playing. Man, I'm Amber. This is Amber's Live. This is episode 69 of Milwaukee Buck Trades, Rumors and News. Bucks win on the road, as they should. 150, 130. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Gone.